This is Jiu Jitsu, and this is a tournament. We are in the blue belt division, and what I'm gonna do here, you see this is called an arm drag. So as soon as he reaches for me, I knock it aside, grab it, and then I go to his legs. My focus here now is to pass his guard. So I'm pushing down on his knees, and um, getting past his guard, and then I'm getting control around his neck. And what I have here is a grip on his collar, on kind of the opposite side of the collar, which I'm turning around over his neck. Now, unfortunately, we were out of bounds, so they had to put us uh, back into bounds here. And I, uh, I'm able to kind of resume the choke here, what I was going for. And he's, he's putting up some good defense by kind of uh, pushing me over the top, over center. Uh, which kind of makes it a little harder for me to get the grip on it. He's also trying to get his hooks in on the back to see if he can kind of pull me away from it, which he manages to do enough to kind of destabilize me. I'm still able to keep full mount on him. Um, so much of winning these fights is getting an advantageous um, dominant position from the very beginning and then uh, getting ahead in points and then maintaining it. So I'm continuing to sit on him here, putting some pressure on his neck, trying to get that choke on him as he is working to uh, try to push my knee down. So he's got a hold of my, my leg there, he's trying to push that down so that he can get into the position. And uh, I'm pretty good at keeping this full mount position. I wasn't really worried about it. We started to go out of bounds here a minute ago and you can kind of see he's kind of walking towards it. And, um, and at one point here as he's starting to push it down, he's almost about to get it. He's got kind of going on one leg there. The guy says, stop, stop, stop. So I see I've got side control here. He says, stop, stop, stop. He's just trying to get in. And so I'm like, okay. So we get up and we're gonna recenter again. And uh, as we go to recenter, um, he, he's gonna take the same position. And um, he gets the one leg in there like this. And he's actually, gets it a lot harder than he had it earlier, but that's okay. Um, he, he gets, he's quite good at this, quite skilled at getting in that, that uh, half guard, such that I am having a really hard time pulling my leg out. And he's going for a move here. He calls it the electric chair, where he's, he's trying to get underneath my, he's gonna reach here in a minute, you'll see it. He's gonna reach underneath my leg, and he is trying to, um, he's gonna try and uh, bring it up kind of over my head and kind of stretch my legs out really, really hard. He sort of explained the strategy to me later cool move. I've actually never been in it before, uh, nor am I familiar with how to do the move. Um, at this point, since I'm ahead in points, um, I'm not really going for any sort of submission. I'm actually just, if he, if he gives me a su submission, I'll go for it, but mostly I am just trying to keep a dominant position. They always say position before submission. So since he has me in half guard, I'm my main focus is to try to not get submitted, first of all. Um, but also get out of this position that I'm in. But because every time that I start trying to get my leg out, he starts grabbing my other leg or pulling something on my arm, I'm having to kind of keep the pressure on him by pushing down on his neck. And uh, <clears throat> sometimes the best defense is an offense. And so when I push down on his neck and pull on his neck, it kind of gets him distracted from my leg and um, allows me to not have to worry about defending as much as get going to move. So I go ahead and grab onto his collar. I start trying to see if I can tap him out. Um, he's kind of doing the same thing on me and then kind of every so often he'll sneakily sort of grab down and go grab for that leg for that move um, so I'm, I'm pulling his collar to see if I can do a collar choke and um, he's defending it pretty effectively here mostly I'm just you know playing the, the, the time game I'm ahead in points I just need to keep a dominant position I have uh, possibly five more matches so I'm not wanting to burn up all my energy so here he is going for again he's wondering maybe he can get a toe hold or go for that electric chair move um, so, um, I eventually am able to get his right arm twisted back in something called an Americana, and I twist it back and get it behind his head, and you can't really see what's happening there, but he realizes his arm's in danger, he starts trying to resist that a bit, he's pushing on my face, pushing on my head, trying to, trying to smother me a little bit there, see if he can get me away from it, but, um, I push it hard enough that I get the tap on that one. Great guy. Yeah, really nice guy. Um, great fighter. He was really, really skilled. Uh, had a lot of cool moves up his up his sleeve, and uh, had a good time in in this match with him. And it was it was a good time. Got got the win on that one.